So the president and the vice president? Not even Lee Harvey Oswald or John Wilkes Booth had that kind of success. Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round. I'm here with my friend to the end, Chucky, and wow, what a penultimate, penultimate episode of season three, titled There Would Be Blood, and it really lives up to that title. So, um, obviously, major spoilers for this episode. If you haven't watched that, go watch that and then come back here and listen to my, uh, I don't know what we're calling these, reviews, recaps, whatever. So we pick up with Chucky's nuked the North Pole, it's kind of overlooked, though, because they're playing it off as an accident and, like, the vice president's taking control and they're pretending that the double is really the president and they're saying that he's terminal and then they're trying to kill him. And That's not the point. The point is, what, what, what really, the meat of this episode ultimately is two things. One, Tiffany's execution finally coming. And two, Brad Durup in the flesh back as Chucky the first time playing him in the flesh since Curse of Chucky back in 2013. Now, I know that technically, like, he should look as young as he did when he died for his ghost. I'm not bothered by that because I just love Brad Dourif in this role. And, like, in just in these opening moments of, of the episode where he's, he's you know, while his ghost is walking around, stepping around, you know, the ghost of Abraham Lincoln, he just, he's Chucky. Like, he embodies it in person. He does the creepy smile, the creepy laugh. I love watching him argue with Dambala, you know, like 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 they're like they're bickering back and forth about you know clauses in a contract. Uh, so we have Dambala telling him, "Look, you gotta kill. It's not about quantity, Chucky. It's about quality. But because you killed the president, kudos. And again, kudos." Um, so he has to kill someone in spirit form. What I really like about this episode was normally the Chucky series has always kind of been like slasher or slasher adjacent. You know, it's about a killer doll going around killing people. It's all about the kills. I like how every now and then they kind of just go all out with supernatural horror. And that's kind of what this one does in, in that it's about a seance at the White House. They bring in these experts from Duke University and I love the idea, I love that Don Mancini is taking kind of a well-established trope and a well-established idea that the White House, you know, is one of the most haunted buildings in the country. A lot of history there. A lot of people died there. A lot of bad stuff went on or was decided within those walls. And he kind of takes that idea and just runs with it. That, you know, the, the house was already haunted, but then when Chucky showed up and started killing people, now it's really haunted and now it's this, like, hot spot for supernatural activity so i i really like that vibe and i like how kind of like last season with the exorcism episode it's like you know what for this episode we're taking a little break and we're going into supernatural horror just because i really really like that subgenre. um i almost wish we gotten more of brad durf doing his you know live chucky thing just because he's having so much fun with it i remember i i saw him at a convention um, last month, and he said that he no longer likes to take such dark roles anymore. In fact, he recently announced he's retiring from acting altogether, except for Chucky-related media. And he said that he didn't like doing such dark roles anymore because it, it took him to a really dark place. You know, I'm talking roles like the Gemini Killer in Exorcist 3. And he's like, but Chucky doesn't bring him to that dark place because... Chucky, and I'm quoting him here, Chucky loves his job. He just, he loves killing people. And just, when he's playing Chucky, you know, even in the live action form of this episode, there's a thrill to it. There's a joy to it that you, you can almost imagine, like seeing him do it here, you can almost picture him. This is what he always looks like. These are the facial expressions Brad Dourif is always making when he's voicing Chucky. Meanwhile, uh, we're kind of still trying to wrap up the Tiffany plot line. She's finally being executed. I'm not sure where they're going with it because it, it seemed like she's kind of out of options. Um, they've already announced they're doing another season, and Don Mancini is working on another movie, so I don't know that they're going to necessarily kill her off. 
Um, I know that, you know, whether or not they have the balls to actually do it, I don't know. I know, you know, they, they killed Andy, but then they didn't kill him, but then they killed him. And it, it's like all of these characters, and especially I think with, with Hollywood media today, no one is ever really dead. So I'm curious to see where it goes. I would respect it if it had the balls to kill Tiffany. That being said, I would sincerely miss Jennifer Tilly. I think she's been one of the best, you know, additions to the series. And if there's any, you know, kind of criticism I've had of of the of the show thus far is I miss her being with Chucky. That's why I really love their phone conversation in the last episode because it was their first time kind of interacting in a meaningful way in a long time. As far as the kids go, um, at this point, they're just, they're all in on this. They, they've recruited, uh, you know, Grant, the, uh, the, the, the president's son into this. And, uh, they, they realize that the only way to beat Chucky now is in the spirit realm. So Devin's going to have to die. Speaking of dying, I've lost count. How many times Devin Sawa has died on this show? He was Devin's father. He died in the first season. He was Devin's uncle when he died in the first season. He was the priest when he died in the first season. Um, he was the president when he died earlier in this season. And now he's the president's double who just died in that weird shining it chapter two blood elevator thing. So I think at this point, He's died more times on screen than Bruce Wayne's parents, than Uncle Ben, and more than Professor Xavier. Maybe put together. I don't know. I've lost count. The man just keeps dying. But I, I love that they always find ways to bring him back. I would... I mean, it'd be hilarious if they bring him back next episode. Granted, Devin's going into the spirit realm, so it's kind of easy to bring him back. Um, all that said, as much as I liked watching Brad Dourif argue with, you know, Chucky and, you know, Dumbala taking the form of Chucky, I feel like Dumbala's kind of letting him off easy, and I know that it's a plot contrivance because they're doing another season, they're doing a movie, Chucky can't quite die yet, and it's like part of me wants him to finally die to, like, give this franchise a satisfying end. And then part of me is like, no, bring bring on more seasons of the show. Bring on more movies. At a certain point, though, I know Brad Dourif isn't getting any younger. And I know at a certain point, they are going to have to make that call. And as grim as it sounds, I think they have to make that call while Brad Dourif is still well enough to act and well enough to do the voice. Because there may come a day that he can't. And I would hate for them to kind of leave something up to a cliffhanger and be unable to resolve it because they waited so long and Brad Dourif was no longer able to do it. Um, overall, though, really like this episode. The The penultimate episodes kind of have always been my favorites. It was the one that did the exorcism. It was the one that, you know, it sets everything up for the finale. Um, I love how the title really did. It was representative of what went on the episode. Lots of blood everywhere. Next week's episode, it's the season finale called Final Destination. Wink, wink, Devin Sawa. Um, my predictions going forward, obviously, we know Chucky's going to come back. You can't keep a good guy down. Uh, they may or may not find Caroline. At this point, I think your main trio and Chucky and, uh, you know, Tiffany is like everyone else around them can die. None of them can. And I kind of hope the show finds the guts to actually kill one of them. So uh, let me know what you thought. What did you think of this episode? Did you, know, did you enjoy seeing Brad Dourif in the flesh again? You know, what do you do? You wish they had done more of it. What do you think is going to happen in next week's season finale? Like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. If you don't, you may end up getting stalked like the president's younger son by a ghost Chucky in a genuinely creepy supernatural horror movie disguised as an episode of Chucky. And as always, every day is Halloween. Ooh.